different types of nasal sprays are available and which is the best one for your baby. Recently we did a video on adenoid enlargement in children and uh, uh, we discussed about uh, nasal sprays can be used for adenoid hypertrophy. So in that video we got many comments uh, asking for uh, doctor can you suggest a nasal spray for my baby or just tell the name of that spray so that we can use it. So instead of giving the names of the spray I thought uh, I'll do a video in detail so that you can get a better understanding on that. Today we will discuss about uh, different types of nasal sprays and nasal drops and uh, which one can be safely used at home and which one needs a follow up with the doctor. For easy understanding I have divided uh, the nasal sprays and nasal drops into mainly three groups. So first group uh, is saline nasal spray or saline nasal drops which is freely available everywhere. You can just buy it from a medical store and use it without the prescription and it won't cause any harm. It contains just sodium chloride in a particular concentration. It helps to reduce the nasal congestion and if your baby has thick nasal secretion, it loosens the secretion and so that the baby can breathe easily. So it can be used for common cold, nose block, minor respiratory illnesses and uh, sometimes the baby may be having noisy breathing because of thick nasal secretion that time you can use it and uh, you can reduce or increase the frequency according to the need of your baby. Sometimes there will be difficulty in fading if there is uh, thick nasal secretions or nose block. So if you use the saline drops 30 minutes before feeding it will uh, reduce the congestion it will clear the nose and baby can feed easily. It is a very useful medicine you can just keep it at home and uh, whenever you feel that your baby has nose block or these kind of symptoms you can use it safely without even without asking your doctor. In the second group I include a decongestant nasal drop uh, that includes oxymetazolin or silometazolin. These are medicated drops and different concentrations are available. When you buy this decongestant nasal drop uh, you just read the label. It will be labeled like baby drops, pediatric drops and adult drops. So depending upon the age of your child and if you are buying for yourself, you just see and confirm and then only you buy that and use it. And these are medicated drops and it should be used with caution. Make sure that you should not use it more than three times in a day and you should not use it continuously for more than three to five days because excessive use of these medicated drops can cause rebound nasal congestion. Once that congestion develops, even if you use the drops, you won't be getting any symptomatic relief and that will be troublesome. So better don't use it more than 3 to 5 days continuously and also never use it more than 3 times in a day. In the third group, I included nasal sprays which contain steroids like fluticasone or momitasone nasal sprays. So these nasal sprays are used to treat different diseases like allergic rhinitis and it can be used for adenoid enlargement which I mentioned in that video also. So these sprays are actually used for the treatment and it should be used only with the prescription of a doctor because it needs frequent review. Sometimes we may have to increase the dose or decrease the dose depending upon the uh, improvement of your baby. So never buy these medicines without the prescription of a doctor and never use it by your own. Steroid nasal drops will help to reduce the symptoms and also to cure the disease and sometimes to prevent the repeated episodes of uh, problems like allergic rhinitis. So always consult a doctor before using steroids drops. So this is the reason why I didn't give the names of these medicines uh, uh, to that comment. So uh, just understand this and treat your baby accordingly. Hope this video is useful for you and uh, uh, you got a better understanding about different types of nasal sprays for children and uh, please like this video, subscribe this channel and share to your friends. Thanks for watching.